when I first had the diagnosis, all my family were around me at the same time and we just sort of sat in silence really. Uh, and my main thought was uh, my children. All I could think about was, you know, my children and what I'm going to do. I've got this disease, um, it's, you know, am I going to die? The immediate thing was to get the cancer out of my body really and I actually declined reconstruction because it would have delayed my mastectomy and I had a fast spreading uh, lobular cancer so um, I wanted I wanted the cancer out of my body so it was, it was surgery within a couple of weeks and then a planned schedule of chemotherapy and radiotherapy at the end and I was quite happy to take advice from the doctors and I had my lovely breast care nurses um, who were there at hand really to, to, to pick up the emotional emotional side. Just being able to cope with daily life then becomes about self-preservation. So it's, uh, it's a tough time and there are tough times in treatment. I was single at the time so my friends really pulled together and so I, I've, I never forget that friendship even now. Um, I won't forget them and they know that. I also push myself to do salsa um, through the treatment and I have to say that, that uh, the community was so embracing and they even devised moves so that, that I could dance using one arm. So dancing kept me fit, while I was dancing I felt alive. When you've uh, been given a diagnosis of cancer, uh, I think you naturally have the adrenaline to fight and flight. You need to accept that you sometimes have low days and that's when you need to pick up the phone to ring your family friends or the contact the numbers, your breast care nurses, your charities that you've got. But it is important to pick yourself up, put your lippy on even if you haven't got your hair on and, um, and walk out the door with a smile on your face and keep positive. There's a future. The top tip is from the very start is to be aware of your own body and um, through treatment especially that you need to take care of yourself. There is a, a short period of time when you may think is this going to go? I felt a lump, is it going to go? I hope it does. No it can't be and your mind is just in turmoil but please get to the GP as quick as possible because treatment as soon as it starts you're on the treatment to recovery and to, uh, you, you know, life. I'm cancer free for 11 years and I can't tell you how every day is special. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to see my grandchildren and my children and uh, I'm just grateful about life. I don't need lots of fancy cards or money or whatever. I just need just to live life and laugh.